All right. Well, so with the three new screens we have added to the app, all right, so we can start to play around with some of the basic navigation. So what I showed you was I created this two other screens based on the sample code we have here, okay, called my home page, right? So we create my second page. We also created my third page. Now, I also showed you how you can actually change the entry point of your application right here. If I change to my third page, that's what you see here. If I change it to my home page, and then I rerun the app, it will actually go from the first page, right? But then what if I want to go from the first page to the second one, from the second one to the third one, from third one coming back, or I click on the button and then I go to the next one, right? So that's when you need to use a little bit about the navigation, right? So this is something very simple. And then to find out how it works, I highly recommend you go to Google, all right? Let's Google like Flutter navigation, all right? And then you should be able to find a lot of this documentation pretty easily. All right, so let's actually go to find a different kind of a documentation to see which one works better. This one doesn't show you anything. And then let's actually uh, stick with the official documentation first. Okay, this one normally give you better documentations. All right, so this is actually a good one. Okay, you can take a look at this one here in detail. Now this one actually shows you how do you create a two Rows, they call it rows. The basic, the, 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 it's basically two pages, two screens. All right. So as you can see, the first route is a name. Extend this one here. There's Scarfo. There is a unpress button, and then you have a second one. So what they want to do is they want to basically go from this one you you navigate to the second one. From this one you navigate back. All right. So to to make that happen, this is the kind of a piece of code you will need. Right. So you have something called a navigator dot push context and then material page route builder context and the second page second row right so that's kind of what you need to do for um, uh, implementing something like this you know let's actually try to copy over this part of the code all right so this is the code that you will need to navigate from one to another one okay so you know let's actually come back to our main page here so right now i am in the home page this is the number one. Okay, this is our home page uh, from this main.dart class. So let's do something very simple. I click on this button right now, and maybe I want to click on the button, increase the number, and then immediately actually go to the second page, right? So to do that, we need to find out where our code is to do the button listener. This is under the floating action button. So you have an unpressed uh, attribute, and then you run this function called increment counter. Right, so when you call the increment counter, it actually goes to here, set state, counter, print everything, right? So after that, let's actually also um, to navigate to the next screen, right? So let's try this. I'm gonna just copy this code over here. This is the code again from this browser here. Okay, so we found out this um, reference. All right, so navigator dot push context let's not worry about all of this and then you use the material page route that's probably a way to do the material page routing navigation builder context and let's not worry about all of this and the final one is something called a second route that's actually the name for your uh, second screen the screen you want to go the destination right so for example i'm going to do my second page all right that actually they don't finish this navigation so let's actually refresh the code to see if that works all right so i rerun that the code all right so i'm gonna click on this button all right so the moment i click on the button you see this little error here okay so this is the first time we've seen an error so i just want to point it out that if you see this red screen obviously you know that something is wrong all right so whenever this one happens you know don't be panic and I'll read a little message here and then also go back to your IDE to find more logs uh, down here. Okay, so this is kind of what error happening. It said that a non stream stream, a non null stream must be provided to a text widget. All right, and then some of the code here, and then you go down here. Uh, that's actually your code, right? So you want to click on this one here to see where through that, that error. So it looks like the error come from here. All right, maybe that doesn't make more sense. Actually, you go to trace the error 
you click on this one here and then you find out well this one actually is not our code this is the library code it just shows something is now right now right so let's go next one this line here this is our code oh actually looks like this is the part that threw this error and then this is actually in the second page where we build the ui we have a, this text for the app bar remember the app bar does the title thing and that actually looks like it's through the error so based on error you can understand that this one may be something about a string to be empty all right so if this is the line then maybe this title is empty is, is no right so anyway to do some kind of debugging and then you probably will actually figure out that maybe this is because the title for some reason it's now right so where did the title come from and you can actually find actually it's coming from here so this is the title where does this title come from it come from a constructor okay so now you go back to this code now let me first show you that in the initial code right here when you start a new um, page uh, you call this class name but you also pass this attribute called title and then you give this string right so that's how we can start the, the pages in a general way but here where you do navigator okay we are not really adding the title and that's why the title is now um, but the now is not acceptable here because we are expecting some kind of title so to fix that error so i need to go here to add a title and i will just do this one called my page two number two my page number two all right let's see if that works i'm going to refresh the page as you can see this time we refresh it won't work because this one already in the wrong state you can't do it so that's when you need to fall back to just to use a green button to run everything from scratch again all right so i start the first screen this time and i'm going to try this button one more time click on this button all right so i go to my page number two this is the title and this is the page number two Right. Now the cool thing here is when you do this kind of a navigator push, it automatically gives you this navigator bar here. You can go back, click on this one here, it goes back to the home screen. I click on this button one more time, it goes to there, and click on this one, goes back. All right, so it's automatically implemented. So navigator.push, this line here, you will need to use that very often. That's how you can actually um, um, change from one screen to another one. All right. So if you want to do, for example, from the second screen, also from here, I want to go to the third one. All right. So you can basically just add the same thing here. So I'm going to show you. So copy this line of code. I'm going to put that to the next one. All right. And then from here, you could say that I want to go to the third screen. All right. So this one, you will need to import it. Whenever you want to use the class, you have to import it. Okay. Import. Uh, this is called uh, another page all right so let's hot load here so from the first to the second from second to the third all right the third one but we didn't update the title so this one here we, we should also change the title to be three so let's refresh that all right so from the third and then from the third we're not doing things and if you want, we can change from the third to uh, uh, back to one, right? So we can also go back to one. So from here, let's actually try add one more. Let's copy this one and put it back here. My home page. All right. So if you use the auto completion feature, it's going to automatically import that code for you from the main Dart right here. All right. So. Now the title here is called my home page. All right, so let's refresh everything. So let's try this. I'm going to go back home screen, page number two, page number three. Go back home screen, two and three. Home page, two, three. So that's how you can do the navigation. All right, so pretty simple. I shows you how the navigator works. And from there, you can actually put up something really basic about your app flow, all right? So um, that's how you can do it. But, you know, I'm showing this example really quickly, but more information you can find from this uh, uh, Navigator documentation, but basically talking about the same thing. So this line here, you will need it very often.